Even as a child, the Disney Afternoon TV show Tailspin always struck me as a bit weird. I mean, it's about Baloo the Bear from the Jungle Book, who is now flying airplanes in the fictional town of Cape Suzette. I don't know how that idea came to be, but it made for a decent enough show. Not long afterward, that's when a Tailspin video game was created by, who else at the time? Capcom. Much like the show was based on, this shmup had to take some getting used to for one major feature. Being able to turn around. And I don't mean being able to shoot stuff behind you. I'm talking Baloo flips his plane upside down and tells the game, nope, we're going this way. It's cool because it allows for there to be more exploration than there would be in any other shmup. If you know where to shoot, or if you're just lucky, you'll find fruit to boost your score or even bonus games to get extra lives. And you're probably gonna need those lives too. Even though Tailspin doesn't try to be a bullet hell, it's still tricky. That same flippy move used to get treasure you missed is also needed just to make it through certain areas. No way would you be able to squeeze through these tunnels without your insane bear pilot moves! To be sure, this is one of the most patient shmups I think I've ever played. And I guess I'm just not patient enough because I can't even beat the third boss, but even three levels in, you can see how varied the game's environments are. There's an ocean, a storm cloud, and a baseball field that looks like it was paid a visit by Bane. I was wondering what would break first, your spirit or your airplane? I don't know, it's awesome. I think it's kind of neat how Capcom took what would have otherwise been a very, very simple version of an already well-established genre and added in this one little feature that made it stand out. Turning around in a shoot-em-up? <laughs> this is why breaking the rules can be a very good thing.